Well, some major advances have been the clinical translation. That's now moving very fast. And since, 19, since 2004, uh, the first FDA, drug, FDA uh, Food and Drug Administration drugs were approved for antiangiogenic therapy of cancer. And there are now 10 of these that are approved not only for cancer but for the use uh, in uh, macular degeneration. And uh, they were first approved in the U.S. and then country after country. There are now more than uh, uh, 32 countries that have approvals. And for example, endostatin is approved throughout China for lung cancer and is actually doing very well from recent reports that we have. So that's been one major advance. And then a second major advance has been the discovery of um, novel angiogenesis inhibitors that weren't known but that are in our body. In 1980, there weren't any, but now there are 29. And uh, these are like the clotting factors, but these uh, uh, are guarding against abnormal blood vessel growth in the skin, like against psoriasis and against uh, blood vessel growth in the joint. And then, uh, in addition, uh, th there's been, there have been remarkable advances in understanding which angiogenic uh, um, molecules are used by which tumors. And then uh, 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 also uh, it's been understood now that while most tumors make, say for example, VEGF, when you suppress it, they can gradually turn on another one, uh, FGF, and it's predictable. And so what we're beginning to learn is exactly it, what was learned for tuberculosis and AIDS. First we had AZT, and uh, every, that was miraculous, but then it was clear that you needed additional drugs combinations. And we're relearning the exact same scenario in antiangiogenic therapy, that you need either combinations of angiogenesis inhibitors that are designed either to treat one angiogenic factor, monoantiogenic therapy, or you need angiogenesis inhibitors that already come with a broad spectrum like endostatin, angiostatin, thrombospondin, platelet factor four. So uh, uh, this is rapidly uh, being understood in, in, the, uh, uh, in the field. And then finally, some of the most interesting, one of the most interesting discoveries to me is that the platelets, which were always thought to be simply carrying clotting factors, and that that was their only job have now been discovered to be carrying angiogenic factors also, both stimulatory and inhibitory, and that they seem to have virtually the entire uh, repertoire of the angiogenic-related protein, and this allows the platelet to release them individually in wound healing so it can start and stop wound healing, and uh, it has enormous importance in understanding tumor growth. So there are many new biological discoveries being made.